Hi, it's been a while, what have you been up to? Hey, I have been very busy working on my research. I buy profen. Enzymatic farewell to a persistent pollutant. A while ago, I have read an article about pharmaceutical waste and its impact on the environments which got me thinking how many of the drugs we use are safely degraded. Oh interesting, tell me more. The drug that I've decided on is ibuprofen. It is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug used to relieve pain, reduce inflammation, and lower fever. It is a widespread, over-the-counter drug due to its high consumption, the annual production is also steadily increasing. This high consumption rate and low environmental degradation rate represents an emerging environmental problem of ibuprofen. Ibuprofen enters the environment from different sources ranging from its use in households to healthcare, industrial and even veterinary use and accumulates in natural environmental matrices. This leads to environmental concerns. Starting with water contamination, as ibuprofen enters water bodies through human excretion, manufacture and improper disposal, this in turn causes an ecological impact where aquatic organisms' behavior and physiology is disrupted especially affecting the endocrine system, and their reproduction and growth. Another concern is bioaccumulation, when the ibuprofen accumulates in the aquatic organism's tissue, it enters the food chain and affects higher tropic levels. An additional concern is resistance development as prolonged exposure to ibuprofen might contribute to increased antibiotic resistance. All of which leads us to look into a potential solution. The lactase enzyme belongs to the family of multi copper oxidases and is abundantly found in fungi, bacteria, and plants. It is environmentally friendly as it utilizes molecular oxygen as an oxidant and produces water as a byproduct, minimizing the hazardous chemicals. I understand it could be an environmental concern, but how much of a problem is it? The need for environmentally friendly alternatives for the degradation of ibuprofen stems from its pharmacological toxicity and its effects on the environment, such an alternative is degradation by utilization of the lac case. This can replace traditional chemical disintegration methods. And per this we have set two objectives for the research, the first is to investigate the influence of selected parameters such as pH, temperature and substrate concentration on ibuprofen degradation. The second objective is to determine the maximum degradation of ibuprofen by the lac case enzyme. Why haven't there been studies about this? That is probably because there hasn't been much significant research on the environmentally friendly degradation of drugs like ibuprofen. The complex challenge of drug contaminants in water bodies, particularly with compounds like ibuprofen, remains pressing due to the lack of effective strategies or technologies for their controlled removal. Research must be conducted to develop comprehensive approaches and to the best of our knowledge, no extensive work has been done on simple procedures for ibuprofen degradation. Based on the results I've obtained, it is possible to degrade ibuprofen in an environmentally friendly manner. The study effectively explored the lactase enzyme's efficacy in degrading drugs, highlighting its potential as an innovative method for drug disposal. Moreover, the investigated and studied mechanisms of chemical reactions have practical applications in the industrial layout and settings. Can you tell me about your experimental setup? The first step is to prepare buffers at varying pH levels 5, 6, and 7 to identify which buffer solution provides an ideal environment for the In the second step lac case was prepared by dissolving it in the acetate buffer. In the third step several concentration of ibuprofen was prepared to ensure the optimal reaction. Batch degradation process was initiated by adding lac case to the tubes containing different ibuprofen concentrations. Finally, ibuprofen was routinely measured using uv vis spectrophotometry to see progress of the reaction. What are your statistical results? According to the results of the screening of different pH with the wavelength 190 to 1000 nanometer, it showed that ibuprofen exhibited its highest absorbance peak at pH 5 at 230 nanometer. Therefore, sodium citrate buffer at pH 5 was employed. The degradation of ibuprofen was studied at three different temperatures, 30, 40 and 50 degrees Celsius, using four distinct initial concentrations ranging from 0.00078 molar to 0.05 molar. These experiments ran for 30 hours to examine how the degradation rate of ibuprofen is influenced by both initial concentration and temperature. Here's the graph with different concentrations of ibuprofen tested at 50 degrees Celsius. Highest concentration of ibuprofen that has been degraded was found at 0.00118 molar. The reaction rate displayed a positive correlation with concentration, indicating that higher concentrations led to faster reactions. The maximum degradation of 60% was observed at 40 and 50 degrees Celsius. So to conclude your findings, drug degradation's importance in environmental drug disposal was recognized due to its crucial role, and the lacase enzyme is a readily available environmentally friendly alternative for the degradation of persistent drugs such as ibuprofen. We believe this work is meaningful because it can help the environment and better life quality with the advantage of using the lacase enzyme as it is readily available in the environment in different forms which is a good indicator that it can be used at large-scale operations and can be globally commercialized. With pride we announce that our project has secured the silver award and garnered additional recognition at other conference and seminar. This acknowledgement validates the potential of our green technology to revolutionize environmental waste management in the pharmaceutical industry.